Over 20 million people happily scanned that QR code that appeared during the Super Bowl, not knowing what it was or what would happen after they scanned it. And that is a problem, as QR codes are not harmless and can be used to do so much more than just open websites. And now that it's trending, it's just a matter of time before the scammers get in on this action. Let me show you what it could potentially do. Let's start with the obvious. QR codes can obviously open websites, but that in itself can be an issue. If you scan this QR code, it will simply take you to my website. Whilst this is convenient, you must make sure that the website that you're accessing is the real website and not a fake phishing site that has been set up just to get your confidential information. As you can see, it didn't open up in Chrome, so seeing the actual full URL is not that easy. You need to look at the domain name to make sure there are no misspellings or any variation of that domain. In that Super Bowl ad, the QR code took you to Coinbase.com, which of course is a legit site. However, if scammers set up something like coinbase.app or coinbase.info or superbowlcoinbase.com and built a website that looks identical to the official Coinbase website, you may be tempted to log in and give them all your confidential information. QR code can actually send emails. If you scan this QR code, it will create a new email, address it, and even write the email for you. All a scammer has to do is encourage you to actually send an email, and this can easily be done with various social engineering methods. Things like, hey, send this email to activate your account, or this is a security check to make sure you actually own the email. And just like an email, a QR code can also send an SMS. If you scan this QR code, it will create a new SMS text message and pre-populate it with the number and the text encouraging you to send it. If you do, the scammer now has your cell phone number and they know that you're keen to activate your free Bitcoin wallet. It's not hard to see how they could call you to complete your activations or to confirm your identity. Since you were the one that initiated the process, it doesn't come across as a spam call. This is very dangerous. QR codes can post to your social media. If you scan this QR code, it will create a new tweet that you can post complete with links so that your followers can also get tricked too. It can also be used to follow accounts on social media, so that could lead to DM conversations where social engineering techniques can be used to get you to part with your information or even install software. QR codes can also add new context to your phone. They can insert calendar events. You can download apps from the App Store or even share your Wi-Fi's password. There is even something called dynamic QR codes, which means the code is created once and what it does can be changed at any time. So whilst there is nothing wrong with the QR technology itself, it is how it gets used and by whom that could potentially be problematic. Just like you wouldn't click any random links in your email, QR codes should be treated with the exact same level of healthy suspicion. I mean, what would happen if you just scan this QR code? Uh, not bad, right? So if you thought, hey, these QR codes are pretty cool, you should actually explore some of these QR code technologies for yourself. Well, let me show you how I generated all these QR codes so that you can do the same. There are lots of these QR code generators to choose from. Simply Google QR code generator and this happens to be one of them that pops up and they are super, super simple to use. Simply select the facility that you want, fill in the details. In this case, it's the URL, so I put my blog URL, it generates the QR code that you can simply download and then use. QR codes are really, really great as long as they're used for goods and of course not to scam people. And speaking of scams, are you aware of this one, which is pretty darn smart? Also check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.